us. Hello everybody, I hope that you guys are having a great week. Happy Tuesday. Today is Talk With Thai Tuesday. And so today's topic is gonna to be a bit of a two-parter. I'm gonna be talking about the law of assumption as well as why your manifestations may not be coming in for you. So with the law of assumption, it's a theory that states that what you assume to be true will eventually manifest. So I like the law of assumption because of the fact that it helps you to adopt a healthy mindset towards the things that you're working towards and the things that you want to achieve by knowing that it's already yours as long as you're putting in the necessary action, steps, work, and everything behind it. You can literally have whatever you want within this reality as long as you know and believe that to be true and you're putting in the work it's only a matter of time before it comes into fruition so that's also why i'm going to give you guys some tips on why your manifestations may not be coming in there's so many different reasons as to why it may not be it's you know also takes patience and time but i'm going to give you guys some great tips so if you are interested let's get into okay it. so i've been hearing about the law of assumption a lot lately and i started kind of adopting that into my routine instead of like the law of attraction there is a slight difference i would say it's really not a huge difference the only thing is that with the law of assumption you're literally just assuming that you already have everything that you want so there's no fear there's no worry there's no nothing because you already know it's like being delusional but you're not being delusional because those things are yours and the thing with manifesting is that you have to really put all of your senses into whatever it is that you're manifesting negativity cannot be a thing um fear cannot be a thing and don't get me wrong like you're not gonna just be like oh yeah i know it's here because you're gonna be feeling like fake like a fraud like why am i believing that i already have this stuff is obviously not in my reality like we all have those thoughts it's normal you know you kind of can't get away from that I kind of just do things to kind of distract myself and put myself in the energy so that I don't have those distracting thoughts kind of taking me away from believing that what I want is coming. So I like to create routines for myself, spiritual routines that kind of keep me in a high vibration so that I can stay positive, I can stay uplifted, so that I don't lose focus and I don't lose track on the things that I'm waiting to come in for me as I'm working towards those things. And so when I say putting the emotions and the feelings behind it, I mean like using all of your senses. So for example, I don't know, say it's like a home that you want. How would you feel if you got that home and you closed that deal and you're moving in and you're getting that tour or like you're having your first housewarming party? Like think about the emotions and the joy that you would feel and really try to embody that and put yourself in that energy. That's the main part I would say honestly with manifesting that's what really helps your manifestations to come in faster is when you actually feel the feeling energy is so powerful this is why it's so important to keep yourself in a high vibration so that you can stay in that good energy you know like when you're in a low vibration it's very hard for you to be a vibrational match for the things that you want it's almost impossible like <laughs> this is why I say too another tip is if you're in the process of trying to manifest something do a cleanse like do a cleanse don't drink alcohol um try not to i don't listen to lower vibrational things like do things that are going to keep you in a good energy like you don't have to quit these things just have a period of time where you slow down on all the negative things i'm gonna put like a list of um things that lower your vibration and things that heighten your vibration so that you guys can see it but when I'm working on trying to currently manifest something, I do a huge cleanse. I make sure that I keep myself in a high vibration so that I can stay on that match so that that thing can come in so I can attract it easier. So that may be a reason as to why you may be trying to manifest things and it doesn't come and you're like, yo, like this doesn't work. <laughs> it does work, but you gotta like really like put in work. Like it is dreaming and thinking and you know visualizing but it is really work you have to really become a vibrational match which means that you have to change who you are from the inside out when you change your inner world your outer world shifts immediately so it's like you know you don't even have to worry about that because when you're doing the inner work and you're healing and you're being in a good vibration you're getting out into nature you're eating healthy foods you're getting your exercise you're moving that stagnant energy within your body you're gonna see a difference within your world regardless if you're manifesting or not so that's a huge tip that i would say just do a cleanse like i said you don't have to quit alcohol if you love alcohol or you don't have to quit listening to certain things or you know you don't have to but at least do a cleanse because it's going to be hard for you to manifest something and you're doing a lot of toxic things 
it's not really gonna work so so with the law of assumption is really embodying that character that you want to be so that you can achieve that lifestyle or that dream or that job or whatever it is so think about everything that your highest version of yourself would do think about how their routine would look um you know what type of things that would they do throughout their day how would their morning routine look what types of foods would they eat where would they go to hang out at really change who you are because that's going to reflect and do it for the best of you like don't try to be something that you're not like just be yourself but think of the best version of you it doesn't have to look like somebody else's greatest versions you don't have to get up at 5 a.m and go to the gym you know like just whatever it is for you just make sure it's the healthiest version of who you are and i would say to create a list so like create a list of the person that you want to be so think about yourself 10 years from now i won't even say five years five years too but 10 years because in 10 years you're it's going to be completely different by then like you'll most likely have most of the things that you want in your life think about their lifestyle and write that all out and start acting it out like <laughs> this is like literally me i treat life like a movie like it's like a movie to me really like i can be who i want i can do what i want i can change the script at any time like you know it's so easy and then once you really start to get in that you start to see like i can really like you know do what i want to do like <laughs> this is my life i can have whatever it is that i want in this life and you really can but if you don't believe that and you find that hard to believe and you don't even believe in manifestation that's the biggest thing if you don't even believe in it you're never gonna be able to manifest something you may like on accident and stuff and it may be like a coincidence to you but you have to actually know that you can do it like once you start doing it it gets easier and you'll start manifesting without even trying like i've gotten to a point sometimes where i have to be careful what i say because it'll happen so fast like it'll actually happen quick like I've just thought about things like silly little scenarios, you know, cause like I daydream a lot. I'm always in my head. So I would just think about silly random scenarios like me dancing with a random person or something out at the store. And like it would happen, like just literally random stuff, you know, like I do it to test it out sometimes, but also, you know, like, I don't know, like it's, it's just cool. Like once you really start to get into it, you start seeing like, okay, like I can really do this. And in all honesty, I feel like adopting this type of mindset and this type of energy you're gonna be happier in general like it's not just about achieving things outside of yourself that's another big thing that i want to mention too it's not just about the materials it's not about the materialistic things like those things are nice to have but it's really about just becoming the best version of you so that you can achieve true peace true happiness true bliss and you will be good like you won't have to worry about anything like let's be real like the world like it's tough it's hard you know it can be a struggle and especially with society and just with you know bills and all this other stuff it's it's just a lot but don't let that stuff get you down because whether or not you're struggling so hard right now you can literally shift your reality quick it, it doesn't even have to take much and it doesn't even have to be as long as you may think you may think like that that dream is so far away from you but in reality it's a lot closer than you think but you just got to stay positive you got to stay up you know it's very hard to slip into a low vibration with social media and with the news and with things going on in the world like it's so many distractions they they don't want you to be in a high vibration they don't want you achieving things and doing great and breaking free out of the system and you know living your best life and building generational wealth they make it so challenging for you because of the fact that you know they don't want you to live like that but there's literally so many ways to escape that especially now within these days that we're living in we're literally like this is the best time to be alive you can do whatever you want you really don't need a job to make money there's so many ways to make money online and just become your own boss and i know that's not everybody's forte that's not everybody's goal to become your own boss like there's so many other amazing things to do out there the doctors the nurses the um i don't know like there's so many other great jobs out there but just understand that you really can achieve the life that you want and you're more than capable but you got to be willing to put in the work like you gotta you know create schedules for yourself so that you can be consistent it's really on you and if you put that consistency and that work and that grind with your mental and being positive and staying in a high vibration 
that's literally like the magic potion like that is like what's really gonna take you to where you want to go you gotta make sure that you actually stand up because you can put on all this work all this work, all this work it's like this generation too is so grind focused you know like and i understand because you know you gotta grind like <laughs> we need money to live out here we can't be slacking but take time to prioritize your well-being your health i feel like especially with social media it's like you see 16 year olds millionaires living in a mansion and driving a ferrari and it's just like damn i need to get on my shit but <laughs> relax <laughs> because you got time like i know you know people always say like life is so short it is but if you really think about it it's really long <laughs> because when i think about when i was younger to now it's like damn like that that was a long life like i think about when i was young and i was a child and stuff and it's just like it felt like that was like 18 different lives because it literally was but you got time you don't have to rush don't let social media feel like you gotta be rushing 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 now you're burnt out now you're stressed now you're exhausted you know take care of yourself because for one this is your vessel and if your body is not good you're not doing nothing you're not accomplishing nothing say you get like a i don't know like a deadly illness or something god forbid but you got to really make sure that you're putting your mental your spiritual everything like that your health before anything so adopt those healthy mindsets adopt those healthy habits and you know know that everything that you want is going to come it's just literally a matter of time okay so that is it for this video i love you guys so much and i am wishing the best for every single one of you guys i am sending you guys great energy love light all of that good stuff if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up send it to somebody that you may feel needs a little bit of motivation that may be a little hard on themselves let them know like you got this like we got this you don't need to stress stress is just so unnecessary and i know it gets hard trust me it's hard to just not be stressed especially when certain things are going on but trust me you're gonna be good everything always works out as it should okay i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time Oh,